guys know what this load is, because I already told you. So pay attention. You guys are going 3,000 foot a second. We go one click left. Well, it feels like you're getting punched in the face. <laughs> got it again. I think I got it more blown. Time I flipped it up. I hit two. Hey guys, Lenkak here. Give you a guess where I'm at. You know. Out here at the range again. It's going to be hot today. So I want to get my stuff done early. But, uh, so yeah. You know the drill. You've been here. There's my, line, my lane. Got the target set up at 100 yards right now. And I'm going to shoot the, uh, I'm going to shoot the M1A. Mine. Um... Since I put it together, I haven't really shot it with the uh, Vortex scope on it and all that stuff. So at any rate, that's uh, that's what we're going to do. i got some hand loads here. I'll tell you what they are when I get to them. And uh, so that's what we're doing. Nothing special today. Just throwing some rounds down range. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh... Get all my monkey business set up here. I have shot this once with the Vortex scope on it, so I think it should be pretty much zeroed, but I just want to play with it a little bit today, see how it all how it all goes. I think we're uh, I think we're live. Um, I have a few different rounds here. These ones here, these are Nosler 175 grain custom competition on top of 40 grains of IMR 4895. I use CCI Magnum primers. They're in PMC cases, and we have this thing set to. These are 75 thousandths off the lands um, so the uh, base to ogive is 2.250 and the base to the lands is 2.325 for those of you that are keeping count but uh, I'm gonna run a couple rounds here these are just a couple of stragglers I bet there's something similar to what what these other ones are but they're just by themselves there's no label with them so I'm going to just do a little get a little warm up here with these two and uh, and uh, see how we uh, see where we stand Okay, this uh, Vortex scope goes to 24 power. Looks like it's a 6 to 24 power scope. Um, it's on 16 power right now. I'm going to poke a shot at the uh, black shoot and see. Um, it's already got two holes in it from last time I was shooting the Grunig. But uh, we'll use it anyways. Let's take a look. Okay, first shot appears to be nine ring, about 230. 
Take another one here to verify where we're going. All right, that looked to be basically touching the uh, first shot. So, see if we can make a little adjustment here. I know it's going to need a little adjustment. We need to move it uh, to the left. going to give it just two clicks down. Now, mind you, this might not be the same load, but I have a feeling the ones I just shot maybe have a one grain of powder difference in them. So, we'll see. But uh, this is like I mentioned, these are 175 grain Nosler custom, custom competition, 40 grains of IMR I think I moved it too far. But those last two shots, basically, uh, almost touching each other. So let me get my bearings here again. Try that again. I may have uh, I may have been a little overzealous with the uh, the turrets. I think that's right there. Wow. Wow, that's what I think it is. I think those are basically going through the same hole. Huh? On the bullseye. Wow. Go see if I can find my brass. All right, guys, what I'm going to try here is I'm going to throw a uh, five shot string down range. Because I did have a uh, viewer comment says, Well, you get up between every shot to check your shot, and I do. And he goes, That's uh, basically he's saying that makes it very difficult to be consistent. I find it to be a little bit of a challenge myself. But at any rate, I think I'm going to shoot a five shot string on his behalf. See what happens. I may even bump, I may even be, go completely crazy and bump the power up to 18.
the bottom diamond, the uh, red and white diamond at the bottom is going to be my target. So here's where my uh, camera crew failed me. Uh, of course, failing to frame the downrange camera low enough to include the bottom diamond on the target stand. And as such, there will be no video of bullet impacts for this next five shots. However, because I am on top of my game, I headed down range with my camera to inspect the targets. So uh, I think typically this goes under the uh, heading of stop acting like a dumbass. I mean, for my uh, crew, of course. All right, five. I think it did pretty well. I might have had one flyer if I read that right. Let me go take a look. All right, there's the uh, first shots today with the M1, my M1. First two, just cold, first couple shots. Did an adjustment, went way over adjusted, came over here next to it, and then I did a final adjustment. And I do believe I've got couple rounds right through that hole right there these two were from the Grunig previously then I shot down here five shots one got away from me but those right there that's pretty tight that's a pretty tight little group right there guys yeah I think so I think I got four of them there unless there's one there I can't see I've got one that went a little bit off maybe I don't know almost an inch maybe at two o'clock Huh, that's not bad. I'm gonna see if I can round up my brass. All right, this, uh, this time I had to snoop it around from my brass. God, I hate losing pieces of brass. You know, cause after you spend the time of going through them and, and prepping them and stuff, man, you just, you know, you hate losing them. Anyways, I'll try to find it here after a bit, but I'm gonna try. A totally, totally different load here now. Okay? And this would be what I would have considered. I don't know when I reloaded these. Looking at the color of the case, I'd say it's probably been, might be a year. Um, 150 grain full metal jacket Hornady on top of 42 grains of IMR 4895 CCI. Uh, bench rest primers these are crimped so I made these I think I made these pretty much to be as much like uh, mil spec ammo as I could so at any rate let's see I mean we saw how the uh, we saw how the 175 grain Nosler custom competition rounds shot and they shot very well I thought uh, we'll see what the uh, See how the plinket ammunition does here. Put five in dead. I think we're I think we're ready to go. I did put up a black uh, new black shoot C, so we should be should be good to go. Like I say, this is the lighter bullet, probably going faster. No doubt it's going faster. Um, this I just uh, adjusted to zero it for those 175 grain rounds. So let's see the difference here. Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> See that? That's low. That is way low. Huh, interesting. Take another shot. Same place. Same place. Yeah, kind of right down there by it. Oh, look at that. Look at that, would ya? That's really weird. Hmm. Well, there you go. That was kind of errant. Now you know why I got them labeled plinking ammunition. Didn't shoot those at all like the uh, 175 grain nozzlers. Interesting. Let's see if I can find my brass. All right, so now for my final finale, we have a third load. Did you see, did you see how that went? It didn't shoot those very well at all. Apparently, this combination doesn't like that load. But we're going to try something hopefully that it likes a little better. These are Hornady 178 grain ELD match on top of 39 grains of H4895 CCI bench rest primers and I have these guys. It says these guys are 2,500 foot a second. Sounds pretty conventional. Um, it looks like these are 35 thousandths off the lands. So let's give it a try, see how it goes. I'm gonna shoot at the uh, red and white diamond that is on the um, lower right of the black shooting sea. All right, I think I'll go down range and uh, take a look and see what that all looks like. All right, guys, there's five shots with 150 grain. Boy, that's pretty rotten, actually. And then this is the uh, five shots with the Hornady 178 grain ELD match. I think the first one was here, and then the rest of them came here. So that point of impact changed quite a bit. And uh, I don't know kind of comparable to this one down here you see these four went here that I had one go over there so I don't know that's kind of kind of interesting these I don't count as anything though those are those are horrible 